Hello all, welcome to part five of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I am going to cover the BDD implementation in Agile projects. And also, I'm going to show you practically how to create the feature files and how the Kirkin language is used in feature files and what about the role of Cucumber in case of these feature files and Kirkin. All these things I'm going to cover in this session. This is a very important session, guys. So you have to focus properly. So let's get started. So in one of the previous sessions, I already covered what is BDD and how it is di uh, different from the traditional development where behavior driven development is giving uh, hash one priority to the behavior of the application to be developed, where by improving the communication between the uh, business developers and testers, whereas in traditional development, less communication is given for what need to be developed, okay? Rather, how to be developed, technicalities of the application are given more importance in traditional development, but in BDD, more importance is given for the behavior of the application, what actually should be developed. Okay, need to be developed is given more importance than the technical aspects. Okay, now let's dig deep into this BDD. Okay, let's dig deep into this BDD where nowadays almost all projects in the market are using Agile SDLC model. And in that model, there are a lot of methodologies. In Agile SDLC model, there are many other methodologies like a Scrum, Kanban, and all. While Scrum is the top one. Now, in such kind of scenario, I'm going to take one kind of case study, you can say, okay, which uh, I already have experienced in my experience, okay, where uh, there is a project and that project is uh, using Agile SDLC model in that Scrum methodology is being followed. So in that project, what is the role of BDD? I'm going to cover in this session, okay? This is a real time experience, guys, that I'm trying to share here so that you'll all get benefited from this. Okay, so BDD means behavior driven development. If in an agile project following a scrum methodology, if behavior driven development approach is followed, okay, then what will be the scenario like? All these things I'm going to cover now, okay? So guys, let's take there is a project and uh, we have a client, okay? So that project is using which SDLC model? Agile SDLC model, agile SDLC model. In that, which methodology it is using per se, Scrum methodology it's using, okay? It's famous one, so I'm taking Scrum. Okay, Scrum methodology is being used in that Agile SDLC model project, okay? So how the process will be there? So first of all, there will be PO guys, okay? Product owner, okay? In Agile, we'll be having a product owner who will be maintaining, maintaining a bucket of product backlog, you can say, okay? The product owner will be maintaining a bucket of product backlog so here each and every item in this product backlog, okay, is nothing but a user story. User story is nothing but a small chunk of requirement, okay? So unlike a traditional development approaches or models, uh, instead of uh, the client sharing all the requirements by putting in a single document known as BRS at a go, in, in Agile projects, it will not be like that, guys, okay? A product owner will be maintaining a list of requirements, okay? Uh, list of small chunks of requirements and where each and every requirement is called as a user story, okay? So now in traditional development, the entire requirements will be shared at a go in a document to the development and testing team. But in case of Agile SDLC model, okay, the product owner maintains a full uh, good, good list of uh, these small chunks of requirements known as uh, user stories, okay? List of user stories will be there, which are nothing but uh, small chunks of requirements. but the product owner or the business will not share all these user stories at a go. Rather, the product owner will do one thing known as, the product owner will create something known as sprint, okay? It's called a sprint. Sprint is nothing but a duration oriented, guys. It, a sprint duration can be, it's like an iteration, guys. Sprint is nothing but an iteration, okay? Which is having a duration of one to four weeks, okay? It can be a, anywhere between one to four weeks. For example, we'll take four, uh, two weeks. That is 10 working days. Two weeks means how many working days? 10 working days. So in 10 working days, all the stories cannot be completed. So product owner based on the priorities will assign some user stories, okay? From this bucket, some user stories, let's say some four to five user stories got assigned to this sprint, okay? In 10 working days, the development team and testing team need to finish up this, uh, finish up the development and testing of these five user stories, okay? Out of this 100 user stories, let's say in the product backlog, this is called as a product backlog, which is maintained by the product owner, okay? Now, product owner will not assign all the 100 user stories 
let's say there are 100 user stories, he will not, he or she will not assign all the 100 user stories to the sprint, uh, rather to this five star iteration, having a duration of two weeks for say, 10 working days, only five out of this 100 based on the priority got assigned to this sprint. By the end of the sprint, all the stories need to be completed. That means completely developed and tested. Okay. Now let's take one of the user story here. One of the user story, let's take uh, an example. I will take for a user story, guys. An example, I'll take for a user story. This user story may be like this. Okay. It may be related to login functionality. Okay. So user story is written something uh, as a user of the application, as a user of the application. Uh, as a non-registered, okay, as a non-registered user, okay, as a non-user, user, uh, non-registered user in the application, in the application, something like this, okay. I want to uh, otherwise as a registered user, okay, as a registered user in the application, I want to log in to the application i want to log into the application one example of the user story i'm giving is this is, this will be the like a you know user story title maybe like this okay or a description maybe like this as a registered user in the application i want to log into the application so that so that i can access my account like this one user story this is nothing but a requirement guys small chunk of requirement what is a user story user story means small chunk of it's not complete requirement of the application small chunk of uh, chunk of requirement in the application now, this user story will be created by whom? Product owner will create that. Okay, product owner has created this user story and assigned to the sprint so that developers and testers will start working on this user story. That means developers will develop this user story, testers will test this user story. That's the requirement. User story is nothing but a small chunk of requirement. Okay, now using this requirement, so how the process will be there in uh, if BDD process or uh, development approach, okay, behavior driven development approach is followed in this agile SDLC model scrum methodology projects, implemented projects, then what will be the process or approach? In this case, this user story, okay, once assigned to the team, there will be developers and testers guys, okay, there will be developers and testers in the uh, in the sprint who will be working, developers will be working, testers will be working, together we call them as agile team, okay, so developers, will developers and testers both okay developers okay developers will try to understand user stories okay developers will try to understand user stories even testers also okay will try to understand user story who has provided this user story product owner has provided this user story and uh, now the team need to understand this user story. Okay, there will be a lot of things, guys. This is just a title in this user story. There will be some attachments may be provided. Some description will be provided. A lot of information explaining how the application, how this particular functionality of the application to be developed will be there in this user story. Okay, acceptance criteria will be there in this uh, user story, which contains all this stuff. Screenshots also, if required, will be there. Acceptance criteria will be there in this uh, user story. And once this user story is received to these developers and testers, both will try to understand these user stories. And while trying to understand, if they don't understand something, they may some, they may get some questions. Okay, developers and testers will get some questions. These questions need to be uh, asked to whom? These questions need to be asked to whom? The questions need to be asked to whom, guys? Product owner will create the user story with this acceptance criteria and detailed information, this title and detailed information, whereas developers and testers will try to understand the user story and will get some questions. And this questions to be should be shoot, shoot out, shoot it out to who? To the product owner. Okay. Will be asked to the product owner. Uh, who need to clarify these questions? Product owner will clarify this question because product owner is the one who knows the business well. Okay. So developers uh, will try to understand, and as part of that, they make uh, developers and testers will get some questions and so product owner need to clarify, okay? PO need to clarify. PO business, PO means product owner who knows the business well, need to clarify or give answers, give answers, give answers for these questions, okay? PO need to clarify or give answers to these questions. Now, 
once the PO need to clarify or give answers to these questions, once the PO does that, now the testers and developers understand the user story properly. Okay, that means if the PO is answer, uh, has answered and uh, developers and testers understood the user story means, the user story is now understood. There, uh, developers and testers have reached a state where there are no more questions. In such kind of cases, testers will do something now. Okay, the next step is testers. What testers will do? Testers, okay, for the user story, for the understood user story, understood user story will create a future file. Okay. You see, the, for, for the first time you are get, hearing the term known as feature file, guys. Okay. This is very important. Testers for uh, tester, testers for the understood user story will create a feature file. Okay. After the questions got clarified from the PO, that is a business. Once the testers understand, uh, testers understand the entire story and developers also understand the entire story. Now testers will start creating something known as a feature file for this user story. What the feature file will contain? Feature file will contain scenarios. Okay. What does the feature file contain? It will contain the scenarios. Okay. So these scenarios will be created using the Gherkin keyword. Okay. Gherkin keywords. There, there's something known as Gherkin language. From the Gherkin language, there will be some keywords. Using the Gherkin keyword, the scenarios will be created. The feature file will be created. Who understands this feature file scenarios and Gherkin keyword? Kukumbar understands it. Okay. So all these steps for uh, later. But for now, so Let's say this is the user story. As a registered user in the application, I want to log into the application so that I can access my account. How the testers will create the feature file, I'll show you. Okay. For now, let's understand. For this product, uh, for this uh, user story created by product owner, after the developers and testers have understood the user story after clearing their doubts and questions, then finally, the testers need to create a user uh, feature file. So, how the feature file will be created by testers for this particular user story, I'm going to show you guys. For that, I'll open a Word document, guys. I'll open a Word document. I'll, I'll launch this word document, guys. Let me write down W O R D. I'll open this word app. The word document is getting opened, guys. I'll show you how blank document I will take, and here I'll write a feature, something known as a feature. Okay, there's a feature file, guys. I'll write something known as feature. Feature, and uh, there's some underline selected. Okay, I'll remove that. So feature, what is the feature all about? Login feature, okay? Login functionality of the application. Login functionality. Let's say login functionality, the feature, and in the description, uh, description for this feature, I'll write down, okay? This, this feature is a keyword, guys, okay? Feature is a keyword here. Uh, from which language this feature keyword came, okay? You see, while, while creating the feature file, I'm using some keywords. From which language I'm getting this feature keyword? from Gherkin language. You can see here, I have written something known as while creating the feature file, I have to create the scenarios under the feature file. The feature file and scenarios need to be created with the help of which, which language? Gherkin language. In Gherkin language, there are some keywords like feature and all, using which we have to construct this feature file and we have to create the scenarios in the feature file. Okay, Gherkin keyword language. So feature is one of the keywords from the Gherkin language. I'll explain more about the Gherkin language later. Login function. Here I'll write the description of this feature, guys, okay? User uh, should uh, user should be able to access the access his uh, access account access account able to access his or her account his or her account okay using login functionality like some description I will be writing okay while creating the feature file. And uh, then now scenarios will come. Scenario colon. Okay. This is a keyword again, guys. Okay. This scenario is a keyword from Gherkin language. Okay. Here, what is the scenario? Login with valid credentials. Okay. Login with valid credentials is a scenario, first scenario. So for that, steps will be there. For every scenario, there will be steps. The steps will be also using here scenario and feature are from the Gherkin language. Guys. These are two keywords, whatever I have uh, highlighted in, uh, you know, kind of bold, bold format, right? They are keywords from Gherkin language. So for steps also, there will be some keywords given. Okay. 
given is a given. Here, colon symbol is there for feature, colon symbol is for scenario, but given, colon symbol will not be there. Okay, given user has navigated to login page. Okay, given user has navigated to login page and and uh, otherwise when okay when navigated to login page when user enters email address enters valid email address enters valid email address and user enters uh, enters valid email address enters valid password valid password here when is also a keyword from Kirkin and and is also a keyword from Kirkin. When there are uh, here instead of using when when like this, okay. Here when user enters email address, when user and and uh, enters a valid password, instead of writing when when two times, you can you can uh, okay you can extend that with and. So when means uh, this is all when now, okay. But and also can exist with given, okay. Given user has uh, navigated to the application user uh, application. Uh, I will write something. User has opened the application. Given user has opened the application URL in any supported browser or something, I navigated to uh, login page. Like this also, and can exist here also. With given also, we can write and. Okay. Given when. Okay. Given. Given is a precondition. Okay. The precondition. Whereas when is the action, action taken by the user? When is the action? This is a precondition. Precondition is to test this login with valid credentials scenario. The preconditions are user has to open the application URL and navigate to login page. Okay. Then this is the action guys. What the user has to take after going to the login? What, are, what is the action that user has to take for login with valid credentials? User has to enter valid email address. And user and and enters user enters valid password. These are the actions. And this is not enough. Action is not completed. Clicks on here. I'll say enters otherwise. Enters. This is not old. Okay. You and clicks on which button? Login button. And clicks on login button. Then what should happen? This is the result. This is the result of these actions. Okay. Preconditions, actions, and result. Then we'll have the result. Then user should be able to successfully log in. Okay. User should be able to successfully log in. Then is another keyword. Here, different keywords are coming. Sin uh, feature, scenario, given, and when, and then. Okay. These are all keywords. These are all the keywords from which language? Gherkin language. In feature file, when you are creating the scenarios, okay, and uh, when you are creating the feature file to construct the feature file, we need Gherkin language, okay, Gherkin language. You will not be writing the scenarios in English paragraphs like that, okay. You will be using the Gherkin keywords, okay, to create the feature file. In this feature file, using the Gherkin keywords, you have to construct the English English uh, scenarios and all those stuff, English statements. Now another scenario is. Second scenario, like this, you can create any number of scenarios, guys. I'm creating some, one sample scenario, uh, sample feature file having multiple scenarios. You can have any number of scenarios, good number of scenarios for login functionality, right? But I will be, for sample, I will be writing three to four, uh, just to make uh, make you guys confident. Login with invalid credentials, okay? Login with invalid credentials. Credentials. Okay, here scenario is a keyword. Scenario colon is a keyword. Whereas again, I'll be writing this copy paste. I don't want to waste time. Just copy paste. Given user has opened the application user URL and navigated to the login page, then user enters invalid email address and user enters invalid password and enters invalid password and clicks on login button. User should not be able to login. And Get a warning message. Get a get a proper 
warning message okay instead of uh, logging in user should get get a proper warning message because with invalid credentials no user should be able to log in rather a in, uh, proper warning message should come saying that uh, you are not allowed to log in or whatever it is email and password doesn't match or something you should paste you should give okay okay now another scenario guys let's create one more scenario i'll copy paste this entire scenario third scenario i'm writing login with valid username and invalid password login with okay this is the third scenario like this any these are like test cases only guys okay feature file will contain test cases the form of scenarios okay so in agile that if you are following this bdd behavior driven development this instead of creating the traditional test cases that we generally create using the excel sheets and all those stuff in this word document we'll be creating a feature file and this feature file will contain the scenarios instead of the test cases okay all the scenarios possible probable scenarios for this login functionality we have to keep on writing okay it may be 100 100 also we have to write all the scenarios guys okay so 10 20 30 is also fine okay that's that many number of scenarios also exists okay all the scenarios related to this particular story user story uh here that is mentioned here okay that is as a registered user in the application i want to log into the application so that i can access my account for that all the scenarios possible test cases are scenarios we have to write in the feature file okay that's how the feature file will look like so i'll save this feature file guys okay into the onto my desktop no not here more locations i'll say and uh i'll just go to the location and say on my desktop i'll save here i'll save guys okay I'll just give the name as a login, login feature, login feature dot dot x. Okay, I'm done. Save this. I'll create one more. Here, uh, here, login with valid username, invalid password. User enters valid, uh, valid username, but enters invalid password. Okay, username is email address is valid, but uh, password is invalid. Clicks on login button. User should not be able to successfully login, even though one. One is invalid, it should not allow. Get a pro uh, and should get a proper warning message. Okay. And you should not be able to log in and get a proper warning message. Copy this part. Uh, one more scenario I'll write. Two more scenarios I'll cover now. Uh, let's go to the next page better. Uh, login with invalid username and valid password, guys. Okay. Invalid username and valid password. User has opened the application URL, navigated to the login page. User enters invalid email address and valid password, enters valid password, clicks on login. Should not be able to log in because username is invalid. How can the user be logged in? Fine. Get a proper warning message. Same. Now, last and final scenario as part of sample I'm creating. I can create even more scenarios, but uh, I'll I'll stop with these five scenarios. Login without providing any credentials. Okay. Login without providing any credentials. User has opened the application navigated log user. Don't enter any username or email address. Don't enter any email address. And uh, don't enter and don't enter any password. Clicks on login button. When user email and uh, password is not entered, what will happen? Users should not be able to log in. You should, you should get a proper warning message. These are the uh, five scenarios I created as part of this uh, feature file. You can create even more scenarios, but due to the time constraints, I'm not creating all the scenarios of this login functionality. If this particular application, if I am talking about this application, I mean, if I'm talking about the login functionalities of this application, I can get a lot of test cases or scenarios that I can create in the feature file. But for now, a sample, let's say for this, uh, user story for uh, if i create a feature file for login functionality for sample i created five scenarios let's assume that these are the total scenarios uh, okay that we can create as part of the login functionality now after creating this kind of feature file after creating this kind of feature file who has created this feature file guys testers that we have, we as software testers have created this feature file uh, containing all the scenarios for testing this uh, user story okay now now is this feature file approved not it this feature file need to be attached to the user story and sent to the product owner okay sent to the product owner for review okay who need to review this user story the one who knows the business well the testers have created this based on the understanding of the software testers software testers have created these scenarios for the user story in this feature file but 
we cannot go with the software testers, right? Software testers may not be aware of something and they may have done some mistakes while creating these scenarios in the feature file. So who need to correct, review these uh, scenarios, whether they are written correct or not correct or not, okay? So in the next step, the software testers will share this, will share this feature file with product owner. So product owner, the one who knows the business, okay? PO, product owner will review and provide feedback on the feature file, okay? Feature file, which is attached in the story. If any more scenarios need to be added or if scenarios are written wrong or any updates need to be done to the feature uh, scenarios in the feature files, the product owner will give the feedback. Based on this feedback, testers have to update. Next, once the feedback has come from the product owner, okay, this will go through a lot of iterations, guys, if required. Product, uh, testers will keep on writing the, uh, uh, I mean, feature files and scenarios and product owner has to keep on reviewing and approving. Once approved, once this uh, feature file is approved by the product owner, till, till then, this process will continue in this uh, story, okay? As part of the story, uh, the feature file will be reviewed by the product owner and all the stuff, okay? Once product owner feels that these scenarios are 100% correct, okay? And then approves, okay? Finally, the product owner has to approve, either feedback or approve. If feedback is uh, given, then testers have to update the, uh, the feature file and again attach it to the uh, user story and product owner has to review again. Finally, the product owner has to approve. Why the product owner need, need to approve? Product owner is the one who knows the business well, not the software testers, okay? To be in line, you see the communication is happening very, happening very well here, okay? Once the product owner approves this feature file, then only the developers will start working. Okay, this is an example I'm not giving uh, on a vague manner, guys. Uh, this happened in a project that I have already worked in one of my uh, previous companies, okay, where I was used to work uh, with this BDD agile process and all those stuff. So where we used to do the same thing, okay? We used to uh, pre, uh, get the user stories, create the feature files containing this, uh, all the possible possible scenarios for the user story and share it with the product owner. Once the product owner has provided the feedback, we would have updated that and finally send it back again. And finally, product owner has approved. Then, then, uh, then developers, developers start writing or developing functionality of the application. Functionality uh, for the user story that is specified in the user story, okay? So developers will uh, start developing the user story based on the feature file created by the software testers, which is approved by the product owner, so that uh, it will be intact, okay? The communication is intact, you see? The what need to be developed is given more focus here as part of this process. Once the developers develop this uh, functionality according to the feature files and scenarios created by the testers, which is approved by the product owner, then, Developers once completed, what the developers will do, developers will again give it to the testers. Software testers have, have to test this functionality of the application, right? What the software testers will do, what the software testers have to do, testers have to, have to, <coughs> testers have to test the, the developed functionality for this user story with the help of Feature file scenarios only with the help of approved feature file scenarios. Okay. Again, the same scenarios will be used by the software tester or testers to test the developed functionality. Okay. Whether it is uh, uh, whether the developed functionality is according to the scenarios which are approved by the product owner or not, testers will check. And once everything is okay, the story will be released into the story will be approved. Okay. Will be sent to the review of the product owner and uh, given demos by the developer and tested to the product owner and product owner has to approve, then only it will be marked as completed. Story need to be marked as completed finally, once the product owner, okay, is okay with the developed and tested story, okay? Like this, all the stories will come. Here only one story I talked about, next story will come, developers will try to understand, testers will try to understand, clear their doubts, you need to clarify the doubts, testers will create the feature file, okay, containing scenarios, and the scenarios and feature file will be using this Gherkin keyword, or testers will be using the Gherkin language keywords for constructing such feature file and scenarios. And need to be that feature file need to be approved by the PO and the developers, are, once approved only, developers will start developing the user story and testers will use the same approved feature file for testing the user story. And then 
demo it to the product owner so that demo, demo, uh, product owner will once again confirm and complete the story okay like that the stories in the stories assigned to the sprint will be approved like this okay will be completed like this this is the process that will be followed in the agile sdlc model kind of thing guys okay this is what uh, i came across in my real time experience okay from my real time experience now you got an idea like bdd in agile okay so let's go to this link which has some information about bdd guys okay so now you understood the process i am but let's from let's go to the official website of kukumba.io uh, this particular page of official website of kukumba.io where we have some documentation on bdd bdd stands for behavior driven development as i already covered in the previous sessions is a software development process it's one of the like a traditional development is one software development process. Behavior driven development is a software development process that Cucumber was built to support. Okay. Which tool will support this uh, BDD? One of the tools in the market, famous tools in the market will support BDD is Cucumber. Apart from Cucumber, we have other things like Specflow and all those stuff, JBehave, J okay, and all those stuff. Okay. A lot of things were there as I covered in the previous session. So, what is BDD? Is a way of software teams to work that closes the gap between the business people and technical people. Okay. So communication will be improved guys. If, if the focus is on what to be developed, what to be tested, okay, what need to be produced into the market, if it is if the project development pro progress uh, is based on behavior, then BDD process or approach will be followed in the projects, which reduces the gap, communication gap between the business uh, business team that is product owner. Uh, if you talk about agile and then uh, product owner BA, whatever you can say, and technical team that is developers and testers, okay, to reduce the gap. The communication is at most important and this kind of approach is followed okay for that reasons and uh working in rapid small iterations to increase feedback and the flow of the value in bd generally bdd is used in agile sdl uh, agile sdlc scrum methodology kind of projects where uh, the work will be done done in iterations iteration basis like uh we are here we are calling that as a sprint one to four weeks of duration two weeks in general okay working in rapid small iteration to increase feedback and the flow of the value. Okay. The feedback is given already, as you can see, right? For every story, the feedback is given by the product owner, business people. Okay. Producing system documentation that is automatically checked against the system behavior. Okay. So here testers are producing the feature file, which is nothing but the system documentation. This feature file is nothing but a system documentation that is automatically checked against the system behavior, right? We are using the same feature file to test it. Okay. The one uh, feature file that is approved by product owner is uh, used by testers to test it. Even developers are using the same feature file to develop the software functionality. So here collaborative work is there, guys. Okay. Developers, testers, and product owner business, everyone is working collectively. Okay. So work done by someone need to be reviewed by someone and uh, reviewed by someone is developed by someone, developed by someone is tested by someone, tested by someone is again approved. Okay. Developed and tested by someone is again approved by business like that collaborative work is there guys okay that's what is bdd in bdd and agile i covered it library iteration so you don't have to dig deep into this but at a high level uh you understood right what is bdd and all okay here what to be built is more important than how how to be built how to be built means technical stuff okay architecture technologies tools skilled resources timeline how to build but what to build means requirements behavior of the application is given more importance okay so that's all about bdd guys and uh, coming to the feature file i just now showed you how to create a feature file and what is the situation where the testers have to create the feature file and send it to the review of the product owners you got it clear but uh let's understand in the feature file we have used some gherkin uh uh gherkin keywords right uh let's uh let's understand that gherkin keywords guys okay let's uh see some gherkin keywords that are used in the feature file let's go to this and see uh, this is the Gherkin reference and then, uh, this is the feature file guys. You see, this is an example of the feature file scenario when then I and get and all the stuff. Okay. Even there's one, a uh, lot of other keywords are also there guys. I'll show you. These are the list of keywords we have Ma major keywords that we generally use in, uh, uh, you use while creating the feature file or this one guys, apart from this, we have few more, uh, keywords are there, but these are the primary ones. You see feature already we have used a feature keyword from Gherkin language. Okay. Gherkin is a separate language that Cucumber can understand guys. Cucumber tool can understand and that we generally write in the future files. In the feature file will write feature keyword. Okay. This is from Gherkin language and a rule. Okay. We, we don't generally use rule, but that's okay. Let's uh, example example. I'll explain. Okay. Whatever the uh, keywords I have not uh, covered here. I'll be covering that in the upcoming sessions guys. Okay. Example is another one. There is something known as scenario. Apart from scenario, we have scenario outline also. With scenario outline, we generally use example. I'll, I'll, I'll explain about the example later. Given, when, then, and, but have not covered. So 
here and means a positive construction on the then or previous statement but what means reverse one okay user should uh, should not be able to log in successfully but a warning message should be displayed like that we can write okay but a warning message should be displayed something should happen but something should not happen in that case instead of and we have to use but reverse statement okay i'll i'll give you some examples for that later okay background is one thing scenario outline just now i told you right scenario outline scenario template examples scenarios like many things many uh, gherkin keywords are there gherkin language keywords are there guys okay gherkin uses a set of specific keywords to give structure and meaning to the executable specifications okay so it can be translated in many spoken languages in reference we'll use english now okay so yeah what else here you see feature, the purpose of the feature keyword. Okay, each and every keyword they're explaining guys. Feature keyword is to represent something, descriptions. Okay, we can write description, rules, examples, steps. Okay, given, when, then, each and every keyword they have explained. We don't have to go so deep for now. For now, this much is enough. At a high level, I'm explaining. Okay, the feature file and the Gherkin uh, language keywords that are used in the feature file. Okay, Gherkin, as already mentioned, let's uh, let me explain more about Gherkin here in this link, at this link. I already covered all this stuff, guys. BDD in Agile feature file, Gherkin. You got an idea, okay? Gherkin is a set of grammar rules, okay? It's a separate language, guys, which con contains, like English, Gherkin is also a language, okay? It contains a set of grammar rules that makes plain text. Instead of writing in a paragraph, we are writing in a more structured format here, right? This can be written in a paragraph format, but that doesn't look good, okay? Gherkin is a set of grammar rules that make plain text structured enough for Pumba to understand. Who can understand by writing this structure? The scenarios, if you have you uh, written the plain English instead of writing in paragraphs, if you have used Gherkin keywords like this feature given scenario and all those keywords, you have structured this particular English text. So who can understand after structuring Cucumber tool can understand it or BDT tools can understand it. Okay. So BDT tool like Cucumber can understand this uh, structure, which is a uh, English structure or plain text created in feature files with the help of the Gherkin language keywords. Okay. Everything is connected together guys. Okay. Okay. Fine. So what else? What else we have here? Gherkin. Okay. And then Cucumber. Cucumber, I told you right already in the beginning itself, I told you Cucumber is nothing but a tool. Okay. It's nothing but tool or framework which can understand this Gherkin language and uh, can recognize the feature files and can understand the Gherkin language that is written in the feature files. Okay. So who can understand the feature files and Gherkin language? Feature file and Gherkin language? Cucumber. Cucumber can recognize the feature files and also can understand the Gherkin language, which is written inside the feature files. Okay. Let's understand about this uh, Cucumber now. So what is a Cucumber? As you already know. So Cucumber. What is a Cucumber? Cucumber is a tool that supports behavior driven development. Okay. So it's just a tool guys, which uh, can understand, uh, which can understand this uh, Gherkin keywords and the feature files, recognize the feature files. Okay. Now guys, there is one more thing that happens in this uh, Agile uh, Scrum methodology, BDD process and all that is. So here, testers have to test the developed functionality apart from manual testing. Here, apart from the testers testing it manually, what the testers will do is, testers will also write the automation scripts. Okay, automation scripts testers have to write. So how the testers will write the automation scripts? You see, in the front end, the front foreground or front end, uh, this feature file will be there. For every step that is written by the software tester here in the background, okay, in the background, for example, user has opened the application URL, okay, this text will be linked to some code, guys, okay, in the automation projects uh, based on Cucumber BDD, okay, Cucumber BDD automation projects. I'll be showing that practically in the upcoming sessions, guys, okay, this is just the beginning. I'm explaining more theory now. Uh, front end, the cover will be like this. The cover will be like this. For each and every step provided here, in the background, there will be some code attached, Selenium Java code attached, for example, okay? It may not be only Selenium Java code, many other automation tools also will support this Cucumber thing and all those check-ins and uh, feature files and all. So if you talk about an example of Selenium Java that I'm going to show you in this session, series of the sessions at the end of the sessions, okay? Every step will have, will call a method gates, okay? We'll call a method. This step will have a method in the background. That method will contain some Selenium Java code, which has to open the application URL. For example, this step, navigate to login page. This will call another method, okay, in Java, which will have the code for, okay, uh, Selenium Java code for navigating to the login page. Like that, guys, every step will have a, in background, some Selenium Java automation code in, written inside the appropriate methods associated with the steps, okay? 
So all those methods related to the steps will be there in the step definition file. Step definitions we call. I'll cover more of these guys. Okay. I'll not give, I don't want to give you all these terminologies now itself, but uh, when we see these things practically, it will be more clear for you. Okay. More, more clear for you. But uh, whatever I whatever I covered in these sessions is all already good. Apart from this, there is something known as step definitions and all, which I'll be covering practically. The step definitions will contain the methods for this each and every step here. Okay. So Gherkin, you see, these are the step definitions, guys. Steps in Gherkin, uh, which are part of the feature file. And uh, every step will have a step definition. Okay. In the step definition class will be there in that every step will have an associated method in this. Okay. In the background of this uh, feature file, which is the friend ground is this feature file, which is which looks like English language, uh, having the Gherkin keywords and all to create the structure to for so that the cucumber can understand. And in the background, there will be step definition, Java file, you can say. In the Java file, will there will be separate methods for each and every step here, which contains Selenium Java code internally. Okay. In the background, we'll be hiding it. Okay. We'll, in the background, we'll be hiding it. When, when I show you all these things practically connected, then you will understand everything good. So Cucumber is a tool which can understand this Gherkin language and also can recognize the feature file. Okay. After recognizing the feature file, Cucumber tool will understand the Gherkin language and understand the scenarios you have written and all those stuff. Okay. So fine guys, this is all about BDD in Agile, feature files, Gherkin and Cucumber uh, that I wanted to cover in this session. So to begin with, you have to know all this theory guys. Okay. Then only you can understand the upcoming uh, sessions. Okay. So for understanding the practical sessions that are going to come up in this, uh, series okay you have to understand uh, what is bdd what is cucumber okay uh, then what are the feature files what is gherkin what is a uh, cucumber what is bdd uh what are step definitions and uh, how they are associated with the feature files and all those stuff in automation and all here as part of automation this feature file will be automated in the background of the feature file some step definition file will be created in the automation projects where which contains the methods for each and every step containing the selenium java automation code to perform that particular action or scenario, scenario steps so guys this is all about a bdd in agile and all those stuff so that's all for this session guys in the next session i'll be covering other topics of uh, cucumber bdd so that's all see you in the next session thank you bye